Hello, in this video tutorial we will be uh, walking through how to log in to Office 365 um, and we'll also take a very short tour and look at how to create a document and uh, where those documents are saved when you are online and in the cloud. So first of all, you're need, going to need to be at the Castleberry ISD website. You will mouse over students and you will go down and find the Office 365 login. Now, once you have logged, uh, clicked on Office 365 login, you are going to be taken to this page uh, for the first time. And so here we're going to type in our email address. And this is going to be your school email address. So it should be your last name, first name, at students, and make sure you put an S at the end of that. Dot CISD dot net, and then you will click into the password area and you will be redirected to the Castleberry ISD organizational page. Your email should already be there and now you will put in your password which is the same password that you use to log on to your computer and should, which should be your lunch number. When you click on sign in it will take you to the Office 365 portal. So if you will pause the video here, let's make sure everybody in the class can get logged in and get to this point. Now that everybody has logged in to the Office 365 portal, let's talk about the portal and the um, places that you can go here and the things that you can do. First of all, I want you to notice that here in the right hand corner it says install Office 2016. This is a wonderful opportunity for our students and their families. If you have a home computer that does not have Office 2016 installed on it, uh, you can log in to this page on that home computer and click there and you can install this whole program for free on your computer. So that is a very big plus for our students and for their families. You'll also notice that you have all these online applications that you can use. You'll recognize these Microsoft Office um, applications listed here, uh, Word and PowerPoint and Excel, but there's other applications as well that some of your teachers may um, have you go into. What I would like to do is I would like for us to take time and look at how to create a Word document and then where does that Word document save to. So let's go ahead and click on Word and you'll notice that we are now on Word Online. It will look very similar to Word that you have on your computer, but this one will be an online version. Then you can click on a new blank document. And once you have clicked there, Word Online will open up, and now we can create this document from online. The first thing you always want to do is you want to name your document. But just like with Google, uh, Microsoft Office 365 and all of its online applications do not require you to save. So you don't have to worry about saving. You just come up here and you see where it says document at the top. If you click there, this will let you save your document. So I'm going to call this our test document. And once I click down here on the page itself, notice that it is saved. So again, let's pause and let everybody open up Word if you haven't already and rename your document. All right, so now that you have named your document, uh, we are ready to actually type on our, our document. So here, this is where you can type your content. So whenever you come in and you, let me fix my word here. Um, when you type, you just type right on the page, just like you would on a regular Word document. But again, like I told you, you do not have to save this. So where does this save? Once I put things in Word, where does it save? So you'll notice that up to the left of Word Online is the waffle, just like you see in uh, Google. And when you click on this waffle, it's going to pull up all those online apps that we saw from the portal earlier. And you'll notice that there is one 
uh, of the apps that's called OneDrive. OneDrive is where everything is going to save. So if I click right now on OneDrive, it's going to take me to my OneDrive. And you'll notice there is that test document that we just created. Now, one thing you do need to understand is that when you click on this document to open it up, it opens up in view only. Notice I have no toolbars up here, but there's a button right here. And this button says edit document. And when I click on that, I would come down here and click edit in browser. And once I click edit in browser, it comes up and now I have all my tools to edit and I could continue working on this document. Just like in a regular Word document, you can insert pictures, you can insert hyperlinks, you can put tables, uh, you have some of the basic tools uh, for your paragraphs and for your fonts. So this is a very good way for you to be able to use Word online. And the great thing about this is that you would also be able to share this with your teacher. So another thing that your teachers may want you to do is they may want you to send them a link to this document. So if they request that, then you're going to want to come right up here uh, to the little blue button that says share. And once it loads, it's going to bring up some options for me. And what we want to do is we want to click right here in the middle where it says get a link. And once you click on get a link, notice that you have several options here where they can view the link, they can edit the link, and they could have uh, be required to sign in. My suggestion is when you turn this into a teacher that you click on view link, no sign in required. And here is the link that you'll need. So you're going to want to click on the link, right click and copy the link. And then you would have that link to turn in to Canvas for the assignment that your teacher has given you. So this was a very quick overview of Office 365, how to make a document or a PowerPoint, where those are stored right here within OneDrive. And then one other thing, if you want to remove this, you can just right click on the document and notice there is a delete and you can delete that out so that your folder is empty or that it's not there anymore. Thank you very much.